Hey guys, today I have a video that I'm so excited to finally share with you. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you know that I've been teasing all week that I'm getting a new pet. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I am getting a leopard gecko. I've been wanting a new pet for quite a while now since I moved into my new house. I literally researched every type of pet there is pretty much. I really wanted to find one that fit perfectly. There were a couple pets I really looked into. The first pet I really wanted to get was a hedgehog, but after looking into it quite a bit, it didn't seem like the right pet for me right now. I also looked in into parakeets and then the third one I really looked into was leopard geckos and I think it will be a great fit to add to my family. So I don't actually have the gecko yet. I'm hoping to get it this Sunday. There's actually a reptile expo in town this Sunday. So if you're in the Kansas City area, I would definitely check out the reptile expo this Sunday. I will be there hopefully picking out my new gecko. But even though I don't have my gecko yet, I went ahead and bought everything I need for it set up. That way I can have everything set up in case I do get one on Sunday. So since I had to buy so much stuff since I've never had one, before, I thought I would do a giant leopard gecko haul today. So this haul is going to be in no particular order. I did buy all these things from a few different stores. I got everything at either PetSmart, Petco, a local pet store, and I did order a few things on Amazon. And I'm not going to go into a ton of detail because I have a ton of items and I don't want the video to be too long. But the first item I got is one of the hides for my gecko. This is, I believe this one was from Petco. There is the brand. And I thought this was just a really cool little rock hide. Geckos do need a few different hides, which I might go into more in a future video. If you want to see a video of me setting up my leopard gecko tank before I get it, make sure to leave a comment down below and like this video. And if I have enough interest, I will do a video of me setting up the tank. But this is the first hide I got. Another hide I got, I stuck kind of with like the deserty theme. This one is actually from PetSmart. It's just all living things. It just says reptile decor. I thought this one was pretty cool. It has two openings on this side and then one on this side and just some different colors up top. And the third hide that I got for my gecko was actually gonna be used for its moist hide so to help it shed its skin. And this is actually a snake cave, but I thought it looked really good and it looks like a good size for a gecko. I don't know if I'm getting a baby yet or if I'll get an adult. I would really like to get a baby, but I'm not too sure what they'll have. But I thought this would be a good size for either one. It is the medium snake cave and it just looks like a cool little rock. And there is some moss that came with it, but I'm not sure if I'll be using that. Because I did also buy a little disc of this like eco earth to put in there. This is really good at holding humidity. So this is what will probably be going in my gecko's moist hide. And I do want to apologize if you hear any sneezing or like jingling in the background. Both Ellie and Steve, there was a big jingle. They're both very interested in what I'm doing right now. So they are in here with me. I know Steve is actually back here and you can see him. So excuse if there's any extra dog noise. The next thing I got is one of the most important things that I got, that is a heat mat. Now geckos actually just need the floor heat. They don't need like a UVB light. So I got this heat mat. He is gonna be he or she, I'm not sure yet. It is gonna be in a 20 gallon long aquarium, but I went ahead and got the 30 to 40 gallon heat mat just because I know I wanted to cover quite a bit of the floor. So that is the ZooMed heat mat. To go along with my heat mat, I ordered a thermostat off of Amazon. Some people don't use these, but from the research I've done, and I have done quite a bit of research so far, so hopefully I'm gonna be doing everything correct. Um, a lot of people suggest these because the heat mats aren't adjustable, so it's kind of hard to keep the temperature constant. So this will let me set the temperature around 90 degrees and it will let the heat mat stay nice and warm without worrying about it getting too hot. One of the biggest items I bought was just this mesh lid. This is just the PetSmart brand. This is just to put on top of the tank. Now, Leopard geckos can't climb like other geckos, so you don't have to have one since I don't have any cats or anything that can get in. But since I do have dogs, I thought it would still just be a good idea just to have it on there. Just in case anything wants to happen, it will be nice and safe. I also picked up some food and water dishes for its water. I got this Exoterra. This is the just the small water dish. I thought this was pretty cool. It does have some little stairs on it. So if there's like a cricket in there and it happens to fall in the water, the cricket can get out and it won't drown. And it's just like a nice natural looking dish. And then for the food dish, I actually ordered this mealworm dish. I probably will leave mealworms in with it quite often and I really don't want them getting out of the dish. So I thought I would try this one out. I know if you just use like a ceramic dish that has really smooth sides, they can't get out. But I thought I would just give this one a go because it is nice and natural looking. 
feeding. And to go along with feeding, I did get quite a few things for the Cricut since I do like to eat Cricut. The first thing I got is just this small Cricut pin. Now I know you can just use like different containers and stuff, but I thought I would just try one of these to start off. This is very small. I think it says it holds up to 20 adult Crickets. So it won't hold that many, but I do have lots of pet stores close, so I don't want to keep that many at a time. And I thought this was a nice design, so I thought I would at least pick it up and give it a try. And then if I need to use something bigger or different in the future, I can always switch. I got some tongs just because I'm not sure how I'll feel about like touching the crickets. So I went ahead and got these just in case and that way if I want to kind of hand feed my leopard gecko, I can do that without like getting bit right away just to see how it is. So these are just the ZooMed brand, the are 10 inch tongs. And now to keep the crickets alive, I did get a couple things. This is some Rapashi superfood. This is called Bug Burger. I looked online and this had really good reviews. All you do is like mix it with water and it turns in kind of like a gel and then you cut it into little cubes. This is to feed and gut load the crickets. I know a lot of people just feed like fruits and vegetables to their crickets to keep them alive and I'll probably do that too, but I thought I would go ahead and try some commercial food to see how that goes. And then so the crickets can get water since they can't just have freestanding water, I went ahead and picked up some of this Zilla. This is just cricket drink. It's pretty much just water that's like in this little, it's almost like rubbery stuff. That way they don't drown or anything. So I thought I would try this. Some of the most important things that I've read that are really, really crucial to a leopard gecko's health are some calcium and vitamins. This is probably the most confusing thing I've came across when researching because it seems like everybody has a different idea of what is the perfect balance. They do need D3 along with their calcium and other vitamins, but a lot of people say you can overdose on that so you don't want to feed it too often and other people say you need to feed it a lot so I'm not too sure on the balance I think it's going to be a little bit of trial and error at first but I did go ahead and pick up a couple things just to start with and while I'm at the reptile expo I may pick up some other stuff right now I just have this Zoomed Repti Calcium this is the one without D3 I may go ahead and pick up one with D3 also and then this is just a multivitamin this is the Zoomed's Reptivite and it's reptile vitamins and this does have D3 so I'm not too sure on how I will be feeding these yet. I still have to research a little bit, but I have a pretty good idea and this is a good start. This is something that really wasn't necessary and I'm sure I could have got it cheaper if I wanted to buy it at a pet store, but this is just a little tiny like misting bottle and it's called Reptile Mister. I probably could have got one out like the Dollar Tree, but I went ahead and picked this up because I like the size of it. I'm only going to be using this to mist the moist hide to make sure that cocoa fiber stays nice and moist to help with shedding, so I just got this little mister. For my substrate, there are a few different options. I just know to not use sand, especially if I do get a baby. So I went ahead and got this Zoomed Eco Carpet. I could have used paper towels, but I really don't like the look of that. So I thought I would try off with this. This is for a 20 long tank. This is just like the sand colored one. I try to keep it all pretty desert or natural. So I picked up this for the substrate. And the very last item I picked up is this Zoomed Repti Temp. This is a digital infrared thermometer. I'm not actually gonna be keeping a thermometer in the tank all the time just because that just measures the air temperature and it's really not as important for a leopard gecko as like the surface temperature. I read really great reviews on these and they're supposed to be pretty accurate so I thought I would try it out. What I can do is just hold it and point it like at the substrate or at the heat mat and press it and it should tell me the exact temperature of that just to make sure my heater and my thermostat and everything is working okay. So hopefully this works great. So that is everything I picked up for my new leopard gecko. Like I said hopefully I will be getting it Sunday at the Kansas City Reptile Expo. I probably will pick up a couple more things while I'm there. I'm really wanting to get some like pieces of wood or something. Steve thinks he needs to say hello in the video, but I'm hoping to get a couple more things there. And then I also need to pick up my live food. I'll probably start off with crickets and mealworms, but I might see what else they have at the show. Like I said at the beginning, if you do want to see a full video of me actually setting up my tank before I get my leopard gecko, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if I get enough interest in that, I will film that also. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am to see this new pet on my channel. After doing all my research, I think leopard geckos are gonna make a great pet for me and it's just so cute that I can't wait. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are excited about seeing it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss when I show it and I'll see you guys next time.